And thanks for joining us. I'm Patrice Dayton. And I'm Ron Drill Moore. A local hydrogen company can now expand its services. It's all thanks to Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb signing Senate Bill 451 into law. It's now known as Public Law 53. News 10's Caitlin Hunt explains the company's plan to get started. After a few speed bumps, Wabash Valley Resources has what it needs to proceed with its carbon dioxide focused project. And it also means more jobs and money could be coming to West Terre Haute very soon. Wabash Valley Resources is ready to begin its CO2 project. The plan is to inject and store CO2 deep in the ground. It also plans to build an ammonia plant. But the company ran to some delays when it came to finding land to do that on. And thanks to the new law, landowners affected by WVR's project can receive fair pay. The company's vice president of external so relations, Greg Zeller, minute. says that also means planning can begin for the expansion. We really couldn't uh, raise the, the capital and receive some of the federal support uh, with that hanging over the head. So all of that's been clarified and now it's full speed ahead. Zeller says the land acquisition process should begin soon. In the meantime, WVR is working on getting the site and equipment prepared. Additionally, the hydrogen plant is in the process of applying for some federal grants. But Zeller says WVR wants the community to be comfortable with what's going to happen. Because we're going to need uh, employees, we're going to need people with certain skills. Zeller says the company plans to do more community outreach in the coming months. He hopes the community can come to support this first of its kind project as it could be the solution to many environmental issues. We'll be part of the solution uh, that people are looking for in terms of the environmental issues uh, with power generation and in the creation of ammonia. Zeller says construction could start at the beginning of next year. In West Terre Haute, Caitlin Hunt, News 10.